with tag team action and what a tag team bout this should be for opener. We've got the combination of the great Gamma and Goldie Rogers going against Chris Benoit and Beth Wellington. Rogers, as per usual, eats up the clock to some degree. Afraid to disrobe in front of this audience. Strange man, 223 from Hollywood. Great Gamma at 220 from Karachi. Benoit, a great champion, 218 out of Edmonton. Biff Wellington, 218 out of Lloyd Minster. Well, delight to talk to our audience from coast to coast. We get a lot of mail. I think perhaps more from Newfoundland and uh, the Maritimes than any other region of the country. Certainly as much as any other region of the country. We're always delighted to hear from them. I had a letter the other day out of Ontario that said I should slap Bulldog Bob Brown right in his big fat mouth. I think it was somebody who didn't like you. Well, when you mention Newfoundland, when you mention the Maritimes, you know, they all know who I am because I, I participate there every year. And when I come to town, they roll out the red carpet. For I didn't me know that. Because I'm a great one around the Maritimes. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, the letter went on to say that your fights, you exhibited the tendency to be the color of an egg yolk. What did that mean? Well, that's very, very disgusting because, you know, I'm a true athlete. I'm a true I don't mean to demean you. I'm just telling you what the letter said. Well, regardless of what the letter says, I like to see that letter. It probably was reversed the other way around. Oh. They want me to slap you. Oh, well, Maybe that's the way it's no, supposed I, to be. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, no. Well, no. thank you for that they're, kind mail. Yeah. I really appreciate it. At least they're watching the greatest wrestling in the world. When they're writing about me, they're leaving somebody else alone. <laughs> okay. Let's concentrate on the wrestling action, and it should be a ring-a-ding, Dong Dandy, because you've got four super talents in there. Some people might deride the ability of Goldie Rogers, but I'm here to tell you that he is one tough hombre. Look at Wellington, does the nip up beautifully. Three times Gamma used the hair, now he's getting what he deserves. Well, you know, Wellington, you know, is Ateev. To me, Wellington's a fine, outstanding athlete. Today, he's running up against a little competition. Oh, of course, he's up against the uncrowned heavyweight I didn't know that. Commonwealth champ. Oh, yeah, I call him the champion because he did beat Benoit on he two didn't. or three different occasions. He didn't. He didn't. I saw Benoit's on two or three different occasions to which you refer. Benoit's hand was held up. The belt was handed to him. How do you figure that out? Well, only after the biased uh, Who's way your of optometrist? Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Ed, and I don't know what match you're watching, but I can tell you this, that the great gamble eventually will become champion and prove to all professional wrestling fans that he is one of the best. And his partner today, Goldie Rogers, doesn't need no introduction because to me, I think he's a fine veteran of this fine game. Okay. What I said about Goldie a few moments ago. I was surprised you didn't faint at that time. Okay, this is Rogers against Benoit. 20-minute time limit. Never did tell you that Jurgen Herman is the referee, the fifth man, if you will, in the ring. I can't help but see the big signs out there in television land. The people are all standing up with this big world-class fan club of Maka Singh. What do you think about that? No comment. There's no accounting for taste. What about, what about my hat? Oh, we'll talk about that later. Talk about that later. Let's talk about wrestling. Let's talk about Benoit making the tag with Wellington, coming in to greet Roger. Illegal. Two Illegal. guys in the ring at one time. And of course, Gamma and Goldie would never do that, right? Right. Cover one, two, just two. Wellington takes a look at Gamma, says, I'd like a chunk of you. Well, he's going to get the opportunity. Of that, we are sure. You know, when you look at the mid-heavyweight division, you got to realize 
what a combination of talent is being featured in this fight. The champion is Chris Benoit, despite what Bulldog Brown might say. The number one challenger is Gamma. The number three challenger is Wellington. And the number four challenger is Goalie Rogers. The only one missing out of there is number two challenger, Johnny Smith. So that adds up to a ton of talent in the ring. Well, that's why this match is so important to every individual in the ring. You know, here a big win by Gamma and Goldie Rogers today. Hey, would move down Benoit and Wellington considerably. And then again, a win by Benoit and Jeff Wellington would really put them up the ladder too. So it's a big match. You're really cranked up tonight. Oh, aren't you? I'm excited about this whole show. And I'm excited because I'm sitting beside you. I get <laughs> really worked up. <laughs> and then really? Sitting, yeah, and then I'm sitting next to Jim Davis, you know. You it, get all the breaks, don't you? It makes my whole evening just oh. right. Oh, I bet. I bet. Look at Rogers. He's going to work. He is pretty tough hombre. Two of them are going to work, and of course that's illegal. I'm Chris Benoit. Right now, Benoit having a problem or two. Over the top, pulls him down, beautiful move. Got the ears boxed, how do you prevent that? Well, Gamma prevented it. You know, you do not do things like that to Gamma, the great Gamma, because I'll tell you why. Because no man in his right mind knows that great Gamma is gonna get beat by a sunset flip. So it's no sense trying with him. And to me, it's the just a waste. The reason I ask is the sunset flip, I never see it working. You wind up getting your ears boxed every time. Yeah, and the only way it works if you got the guy really uh, boiled down in the ring and stunned. that little stun that's when it's going to it's like the small package yet you know you don't beat a man with a small package unless he's really down and out a little stun yeah okay have to be a little stunned to be an announcer no i think you have to be a smart individual <laughs> And that's not nice. I don't care where you go across the country. I don't care what professional wrestling you watch. I tell you what, I watch 30, 40 hours a week. I don't think there's nobody finer than Whalen and Brown and Jim Davis. Oh, my. How about that? I have reached the zenith of my career. There's the neck breaker. Up top, it's a one, it's a two, it's not quite. Well past the five-minute mark, one fall, 20-minute time limit. Here's the tag. The hip toss and got the headlock on him, and the question is, is he choking? This is what we're talking about a while ago, Ed, about the small package in the sunset flip. Here is the way to use it, you know, after you have a guy in a hole like this for three or four minutes. Because what goalie's doing now, goalie is wearing him down. And that's why Beth Wellington better not sit around in this hole much longer. Because, you know, he might be in for a long night. Four solid wrestlers in the ring. I can't help but note, Bulldog, you and I have been around a long time. My experience, when I was a young kid, I was a ring announcer 35 years ago. And the trend in wrestling today in some federations, not all, it almost does not feature wrestling you know what i mean there's more the soap opera than there is the wrestling you know i was going to bring it up earlier i was going to bring up the same thing that's why i told you a while ago i've been around the world and then some, and when it comes to television wrestling professional wrestling at its best you're looking at whalen and brown and davis 
I tell you, we call him as we see him, and all we see here, hey, we're seeing great wrestling matches. I agree. Here. That's and, what I mean. And listen, and where you don't see it on other television networks. I, this is why I like this. Yeah. This is this is solid wrestling, and we get a lot of letters from the purists who say they enjoy the fact that it is solid wrestling. And the trend is, well, wrestling in some areas is almost incidental. Almost incidental to the, what do I call it, the storyline. Here's Wellington now. Got underneath. Beautifully done, but he got shaken up. Can he make the tag? Rogers trying to get at him. Here's Benoit. Look out. Goes in against Rogers. Off those ropes. Look out. Nelly. Beautiful work here by Benoit. Well, he's really in form tonight, isn't he? Just a two count, close call. Great Gamas headed for the dressing room. Where's he going? I really don't understand this. Uh, Gamma has left. I don't know if he received an injury or not, or he just didn't do anything, but he just left. I don't know where he is. Well, here we go. Benoit's got a long distance. Oh, caught him on the head. Caught him with his head on the chest, I should say. Great job. Here comes Wellington. Where's Gamma? I can't believe this. Oh, man. He hurt him. Oh, what are they doing to this guy? He is clobbered. He is really clobbered. Well, I tell you, this is a mis maybe a misunderstanding between Goalie and the great Gamma. Gamma left him stranded in here. Now, they may have had a misunderstanding. I don't know. But I'll tell you, this was a brutal match. And what they did to Goalie, they piled-drived him on the head. They came off the top rope, which is illegal.